Alright guys, what is up? Jewelers here, back with yet another video. I messed up that intro, so I kind of threw myself off a little bit there. But nonetheless, this is my top 43 battle stages of all time. We are doing 43 to 31 today, and then the next episode, I don't know when it will come out, uh, 30 to 21, and then 22 to 11, 10 to 1. Simple as that, just these extra three tracks, because there had to be 43 battle stages instead of for, you know, 40 or something. I'm, I was surprised it was this, this little to begin with, but nonetheless, let's get started. Number 43 for our battle tracks of all time. This is gonna be hype guys, but you all know what it is N64 Toad's Turnbike, but now you guys see the N64 and, and you're like Gabe It's an N64 track. It's a retro track. It shouldn't be in this countdown Well, even though it's an N64 track, this is the first time this specific track any version of Toad's Turnbike has been in has been a battle course, not a racetrack. See, Mark and messed it up with these freaking racetracks and they confused everything. So, uh, retro tracks uh, becoming battle stages in this game doesn't really matter. So, I didn't spend too much time talking about the track itself, but it's super long and you can't fight anyone or find anyone and it's really boring, just like that. Now we are going to number 42. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but you probably should. Again, another N64 track, Yoshi Valley. Now I could actually talk about this track now I explain to you guys why you know these n64 slash other retro courses can be considered nitro battle stages but as you can see this course basically suffers from the same problem as uh, Tony Turbo bike it has a couple of unique parts such as when you're going backwards you could go up the ramp and maybe going through this cannon actually has a little bit of use because you can actually um, get away from people or you know be invincible for a little bit unless somebody actually had a lightning bolt but again, another thing this uh, suffers from is that, you know, these blind shots like that, that people could just hit you with. But I, I think like this part right here, just this ending whole area with like the off-road, it's just, oh, it's claustrophobic. But number 41, guys, we're going quick. GCN Dry Dry Desert. I don't want to talk about these Mario Kart 8 tracks too much because we all know that they are the worst battle tracks of all time. So, you know, if my reason doesn't seem just... It's because these marker tracks already suck and you don't need to hear my reasoning for why these marker 8 tracks are on the bottom of the bottom of the list. But nonetheless, GCN Dry Dry Desert, I mean I just don't really like this track as a battle stage. Again, you just have a long narrow path where you can't even find anyone with off-road on both sides. It just doesn't work as a battle track. I mean let's be real here. Yeah, you can do some cool spots if you find somebody and happen to get lucky you can hit them. But that's really rare. So nonetheless, we are going to number 40. SNES Donut Plains 3. So, this is a Super Nintendo track, not a battle stage. And, you know, of course, they bring it back in Mark as a battle stage. You know, I wonder how they decided which eight battle courses would become battle stages. I wonder what the thinking process behind Nintendo was for the eight courses. You know, I just have no idea. But, again, it's a shorter track, so you won't have as much trouble trying to find somebody as in others but there is some trouble like this where people start going the wrong way and you know you're just trying to find somebody and then you know because you want to pop people's balloons or else you can't win the match but nonetheless I mean it's it's an alright track but still it's not that good but we're going to 39 the first I guess you could say nitro Wii U track slash battle track again the terminology is very confusing because Mario Kart 8 had to use real tracks as battle tracks but this is Toad Harbor guys um, as you can see there's not really anything too fancy about it it's a really it's an amazing track let me tell you to race on this is amazing but to play battle on you may think 12 people would take over a lot of the space but actually you know there's not a lot of space to find people in which is a common theme in all of Mario Kart 8's Wii U's battle tracks I'm using air quotes right now right now you can't see me but I'm using air quotes but nonetheless I mean this course is I guess somewhat ideal for battle but that's like the minimal of the minimalistic views just like in Mario Kart 8 but now we're going to 38 GCN Sherbet Land again I can't I don't even know what else to say I'm literally saying the exact same thing for all of these tracks because you you can't say anything it's it's a long and narrow track just like racetracks are supposed to be but battle courses are not supposed to be that way or battle stages I named these battle stages because that's what they're officially called battle stages as you can see I'm not even talking about the track itself because there's nothing to talk about the track about except that epic snipe right there did you see that oh my god like I should have zoomed in on that or something like man the epic snipe wow that was actually fantastic I I'm proud of myself for that one but that was probably the only highlight about this track 
and that was a low light right there, as you can see, hitting myself with a green shell, because there's walls and everything like that. But nonetheless, there's walls not the battle tracks too. But let's let's be real here. 37 Mario Circuit again from Mario Kart 8. This is like my top eight Mario Kart 8 battle stages countdown. I mean, let's be real here. This is this is getting more. It did have one change though. As you can see, I started right before where the glider ramp was supposed to be, but the glider ramp ended up not being there. Now, an interesting thing about this Mario Kart 8 Wii U map on the lower right hand corner is that you know it's the it's the uh, like oh i forgot the name of it it was some sort of like uh mosaic twist ah, i forgot the name of it but it was a twist where the eight like flips uh both uh flips on both sides without actually crossing with each other and you can't see where everyone's going i wasted a good like 15 seconds forgetting the name of the track but that's like the only good thing about that track and it makes for an okay experience but definitely not ideal and now in my opinion the best mario kart 8 wii u track which is not that hard to do is wii moo moo meadows now this is the first battle track in the game and like you know it's the top left on like the menu screen and all that kind of stuff and because it is the shortest track in the game and it's actually got like a little wide area like this section like with the cows it actually makes for like a it could pretend itself to be like in somewhat of a battle track i mean of course it's not a battle track it's a race track and it works much better as a race track as it does a battle track however i mean it does it does perform better as a battle track as the other mario kart h wii u battle stages do and that's just what i like about it that's why i think it's the best mario kart 8 battle track now we can finally get to some real real battle tracks number 35 my le my least favorite real battle track is battle course 3 from super mario kart now what you'll notice here is that there is a a bunch of these ice blocks that were from vanilla lake 1 and 2 uh you know blocking the middle four items from being used so when you're doing this in multiplayer mode which as you can see i did not get the chance to do i just had to put a second controller down and just leave it there that's what i had to do for uh, the first four mario kart games so if you just see this boring gameplay without any computers that's why i had to do it. i had to record it on my own but nonetheless it's in it's an okay battle track but it's not great at all because you can't really move the ice physics in super mario kart are actually trash and i had trouble you know trying to trying to get to item boxes and like just making my way around the entire map in hiding places because you're just slipping inside you can't even control yourself so <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, so thankfully we only got four left. But number 34, we have Battle Course 3 from Mario Kart Super Circuit. Now, if you have any idea what the space background such thing is, I'm using the Game Boy Player to capture uh, this game, uh, all the Game Boy Advance games, uh, especially Mario Kart Super Circuit. Uh, the Game Boy Player for the GameCube is the add-on and all that kind of stuff. I needed to buy a second copy of Mario Kart Super Circuit. But nonetheless, let's talk about the track itself. Well, actually... I mean, what is there to say about the track? It's very, very small. The only like difference in road texture is this little circle of dirt that's in the middle, and then there's four uh, four corners you could hide in that have a dent inward, and that's it. The only reason it's above, the, it's not the worst, is because it, it doesn't have ice. It's just road. That's that's my that's my observation. But number 33, we're getting a little more high tech here with uh, Palm Shore. Now, to be honest, let's let's be real, guys. This is just like a glorified circle. I mean, sure, uh, some of you guys who are nostalgic about the DS games are may think this should be ranked much higher, and I definitely agree with you. But I, you know, it it just, uh, in my opinion, I, I, it's not really that fun a track because I do like how the water uh, goes in and out, like uh, you know, Peach Beach, like those kinds of physics. But in my opinion, when the water comes in, it. Uh, it slows you down a lot I mean I get and that's like a strategy that you can use but at the same time it's not really something that I would favor and it kind of just slows down the gameplay for me and I could get robbed a lot in this battle mode and it's just really not my kind of track I'm sorry guys I just I don't like it too much because of the the middle parts and then the three broken parts unless the water is connected but none, nonetheless we have 32 which is big donut now why is this better than the other one you know it's got it's actually got some like uh, it, it, it's got a wall at the end of it and that's not what I was looking for but it's got off-road not oh my god I'm I'm losing my mind here uh, you could fall into lava it's got like an abyss you could fall into something instead of for you know so you gotta avoid you gotta watch out for the edges while uh, trying to fight your opponents at the same time yes it's scaled a little bit too big and it's not too much fun especially when you're playing alone like I was right here 
and you're just trying to drive around but there are some spots to hide so the developers were thinking a little bit strategically but in my opinion I think they did scale it a little bit too big and it just didn't work out well and the last track of the video number 31 another Mario Kart DS battle track actually this is tart top so again we have another glorified circle in my opinion actually no this is really a glorified circle it's just a circle I do like this ramp that you could go off of it's really cool uh, it's a great mechanic actually because you know not many tracks uh, not many battle tracks had like ramps that you can actually go up and and fly over to the other side and so that was actually really cool another thing that's interesting about this course I'm not a big candy team kind of guy but you could bump into these little uh, tarts I, I guess you could call them this is a strawberry but you know some other tarts are like um, they look like whipped cream or something like that. I'm not sure, but you could get these little splotches on your screen, kind of like the bloopers, but they're not as effective, but at the same time, they're fun to even bounce into, and it just enhances the gameplay because it lets you know that you're on like a candy land, and it's really fun that way, and I like the music and everything like that, but that is it nonetheless. Thank you guys so much for watching my 43 to 31, the, the worst of the worst of the Mario Kart Battle Tracks. Trust me, it only gets better from here. From here on out, you don't have to see any more of those Mario Kart 8 Wii U battle tracks. It's just these battle tracks, um, and you're going to do fine. The trailer's up there, and thank you so much for watching.